Middle-earth is inhabited by quite a few human peoples. In addition to the people of Gondor and Rohan, about whom much is known, there are also the people of Dale, the Dunlanders, the Trackers of the North, the Bjornings, and others. And not all of them are on the side of good. There are very numerous tribes of people who serve evil, Sauron. Today I want to talk about the people of the East, Vastax, a.k.a. Easterlings. In this video we'll see where they came from, why they became enemies of Gondor, who ruled them and what happened to them in the end. The Easterlings awakened with the rest of the people in the first year of the First Age. At first all the people heeded the voice of Eru Iluvata, who instructed them. But soon the people began to listen to him less, and then Melkor came to them. Melkor bent all people, including the Easterlings, to his side, to evil, and urged them to give up Eru. The people obeyed him and served Melkor for a long time. As time went on, the Dark Lord began to show his true face more and more, and the people became unhappy being his servants. Then some people met elves and, having learned from them more about the structure of the world, travelled to the west, where they became allies of the Noldor elves. These were the men of the Adain tribe. The Easterlings, on the other hand, were no longer communicating with elves, but with dwarves, and their language even began to resemble that of the dwarves. But later two large tribes of the Easterlings also travelled to the west, and also, denying the power of Melkor, became vassals of the Noldor elves and their allies in the war with Melkor. These were the tribes of Bor and Ulfang. The tribe of Bora proved to be a loyal ally, but the tribe of Ulfanga turned out to be traitors. These Easterlings turned their swords against the elves at the decisive moment of the battle and ensured Melkor's victory. For this the Lord of Darkness rewarded them with vast lands. But in the end Melkor suffered a crushing defeat. The Easterlings, loyal to him, fled far to the east, and the descendants of the tribe of Bor settled in the north of Eriador, and most likely ceased to be called Easterlings. After Melkor's defeat, his work was continued by his chief servant, Sauron. Sauron settled in Mordor, and soon took control of the Easterlings, becoming their lord. He was probably aided in this by the Rings of Power, which he distributed to the human rulers. In the Second Age, at Sauron's behest, the Easterlings began attacking Numenorean colonies in Middle-earth. Eventually the Numenorans grew tired of this, and defeated Sauron and the Easterlings at the same time. When Sauron lost his power after the fall of Numenor and lay dormant for a long time, the Easterlings did not show themselves in the West for a long time either, probably engaged in internecine warfare. However, in the Third Age, after the formation of Gondor, the Easterlings began to make numerous raids on it. Many of them, by the way, were successful. More than one ruler of Gondor died in battles with the Easterlings. Of particular note are the Wagon People, a large group of Easterlings who were better armed and more aggressive. They, pushed by Sauron, planned a massive attack on Gondor that killed the king and conquered large swaths of land. Gondor miraculously managed to fight back, but soon the carriage men formed an alliance with the southern Haradrim, and together they organized an even larger offensive. Once again, Gondor miraculously managed to hold out. When Sauron went to war against Gondor and his allies again during the Lord of the Rings period, the Easterlings, of course, joined him. Thus, it was the Easterlings who defeated the men of the city of Dale, the dwarves of Erebor, and then besieged Dale until the death of Sauron. Notable members of the Easterlings Bor is a rare example of an honest and positive Easterling the leader of a tribe that defected to the Noldor elves in the First Age, and whose descendants settled the north of Eriador. Camel Shadow of the East is the only one of the Nazgul to have a name. He was a ruler of the Easterlings, seduced by the ring of power given to him by Sauron. As a result, he became his loyal servant. Second in power to the wizard king, Broda, one of the leaders of the traitor tribe of Ulfang, who lived in the First Age known for taking over Dor Lomin, where Hurin used to rule. He was killed by the hero Turin. What became of the Easterlings after Sauron's defeat? A great many died in the final battles of the War of the Ring, at Dale and at the Black Gate. However, many survivors were released by Aragorn after the battle. Their fate is unknown, but it is likely that the Easterlings, weakened by defeat and without their powerful ruler Sauron, were unlikely to return to the West any time soon. 
My guess is that tens, if not hundreds of years of rebuilding and internal warfare awaited them next.